Now, meteorologist Jamie Jarosik and your Storm Team 2 forecast. A bad single digit wind chill out there this morning. At times, these values have been close to zero. As we're seeing right now down towards Wilmington, it feels like two degrees, feels like three in Springfield, four in Bell Fountain, and five degrees is our current wind chill in Dayton, also up towards Wapakoneta. So if you're planning out to head out for a walk, you'll definitely want to bundle up with hats, gloves, everything. We even have some snow falling that will continue for the morning hours with temperatures in the teens. And then in the afternoon, we'll push into the 20s. We'll be up right around 25. So if you wait later in the day and go for a walk, it'll be a little bit warmer, but it's still going to feel cold because of the breeze. The breeze stays up today between 10 and 15. So single digit wind chills through about lunchtime. And then in the afternoon, it's going to feel like the low to mid teens. But that is as warm as it'll feel all day because of that brisk wind. And we are going to stay cold across the area for the foreseeable future. Uh, we have highs very similar Friday, Saturday, mid 20s. The coldest days will be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, upper teens, low 20s. And then we'll start to come up and there are signs that there will be a few days next week where we get up pretty close to freezing. That'll be as a storm will be moving in. So it's not going to be the best time to get out and enjoy slightly warmer temperatures because we'll be dealing with the potential for some precipitation. We've had some of that out there this morning with some snow that has been falling in parts of the Miami Valley. You can see here in Montgomery County, extending down towards Miamisburg, back into Preble County. And we still have some areas of flurry activity even outside of some of this light snow, but that'll continue to shift off to the south and east as we head through late morning and into the afternoon hours. The heaviest snow, some ice accumulation has been ongoing across parts of Kentucky into West Virginia, where travel down that way is really poor. And we've even had some issues locally because of the light snowfall here, the cold temperatures causing snowy and icy roads this morning, and that's main and side roads. We've even had some thicker drifts develop across some of the open county roads. So it may be a slow commute still for the next couple of hours. Around noon, we'll still have some snow and icy spots on the side roads, but the main roads will be having some improvement with more and more traffic. And then we'll watch for refreezing this evening with icy conditions developing in spots. Here's a check of future tracks starting us off with lots of clouds out there. We'll be cloudy as we head through lunchtime and at five o'clock still looking pretty cloudy. Some of the northern counties could see a few more breaks in the clouds and overnight looks mostly cloudy. We'll get into Friday and we do expect to see some breaks of sunshine, especially through the first part of the day. As we head towards the later afternoon, though, clouds will be increasing again ahead of our next system. Today we're up to 25. It's going to be a very cold, breezy day with the morning snow coming to an end. And then overnight we'll drop to 15, so quite cold again with wind chills in the single digits. Tomorrow is mostly cloudy, still up near 25 and a little breezy. Saturday will be the next chance for snow. This looks like a light event, so accumulation will stay under an inch. Sunday is a dry but cold day with a morning low of 8 and a high of 17. And then Monday and Tuesday will be the next significant system to impact the area. Could bring some more accumulating snow with highs in the low 20s.